Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to an Oh Hello Box unboxing video. It's been a little bit since I've done these, but I thought it was about time to dive back into them with this particular box. This month's theme is Bibliophile and it's a gorgeous box, lots of fun products. I tried a few new things in here, so I can't wait to see what you think. This box is available now through the end of May or while supplies last. I do think that we're going to sell out of this one, so if you are interested in it, definitely snap snag it up. All of the details and stuff will be in the description box for you to go check out if you're interested. But without further ado, let's show you all of the products in this month's box. Let's start strong with this first item. It's a coffee table book that's called I Rather Be Reading, a library of art for book lovers. So it has a bunch of different poems and artwork all around books and the love of books. There's different writings quotes, sayings about about novels, and it's just so cozy. Just photos like this make me want to go back into bed, cozy on up under the blankets, and finish my book. So this was a really fun addition. I wanted to add a little bit more like giftable items and make it a little bit heartier with this box. I wanted to try that out. So let me know what you think if you like more products like this and the next one I'm gonna show you, if that's something you're into, I will try to include things like that in future boxes. This is definitely my favorite product in the box. It's a Literary Notes 20 Note Cards and Envelopes set. And these are so cool. So they are book based, but they are like unique takes on books. So a book is a kite or a little island. So there's 20 different note cards and envelopes, five designs, uh, four of each of the design. So you can write a letter to a fellow friend, definitely while we're all still hanging out in quarantine. I've been writing so many more letters, so I can't wait to break into my box and uh, send out a few cute little letters to friends and family. And I've started writing my nieces. They um, are like 13 and below, so it's a really great time to encourage letter writing and you know try to spur the next generation to be as uh, old school as I am. No book binge is complete without a mug full of delicious tea or coffee. So this has a wrap around artwork on it with a cute little cat that you'll see again in the enamel pin. And I just love when the art wraps around because I know that you're supposed to hold your coffee in a certain hand and the artwork shows, I don't even remember what it is, but that always like confuses me why they chose one side for the art over the other. So just put art all the way around it and solve that problem. The cute little cat on books is this month's enamel pin. I am so excited for the next couple of months of enamel pins. I had a really fun time designing them all and I went a little unique on a couple of them. So I just think this is super cute and I can't wait to wear enamel pins again. Like I could wear them now, but there's just something about only showing them to your husband to be like, look how cute I look today. And he's like, good job. And then you go on your merry way to a Zoom meeting. So I cannot wait until I'm back in the world, back to wearing my blazers and rocking my enamel pins. That day will come that day will come. This next item I find pretty cheeky. It's a little desk like name plate that says I'm silently correcting your grammar. And this speaks to me on so many levels. I'm just gonna like slide this in the background of my zoom meetings just like. Of course there is a pack of stickers all book themed. So there's four different sheets. The first one are these long bookshelves that I just love putting at the bottom of a notes page. Then there are these bright colored ones with the girl reading on a little sofa. More of the art that you find on the coffee mug as well as the enamel pin and then some vintage old school looking books. I loved that long bookshelf sticker so much that I put it on a notepad. So it has the shelf down here and it says to do and it fits the like cream colored book scheme. Then you're going to get a reading lamp bookmark. I love this thing. I think it's so cute. The light goes really far and that's what's actually the bookmark for your book. And then it looks like a little lamp because we all know that we're reading literally way past our bedtime. I don't know what it is about books, but I will go to bed at 10 o'clock any other day of the week. But if I'm reading a book, it's like 1 or 2 a.m. There's just something about it. Next up is a set of animal sticky notes. The characters may vary depending on which box you get. You might get some zoo animals, some cats, some dogs. This one is Arctic animals. 
but they're just really cute sticky notes. And I can never have too many sticky notes. I'm pretty sure the limit does not exist. And last but not least, throwing it back old school with one of those multicolored retractable pens that you click down one color and then it pops back up and you click down another color. I think these are so fun and I was so excited to find them. I thought it'd just be a really, really fun addition to the box. I'm just gonna play with this forever now. Be right back. So there you guys go, all of the products in this month's Bibliophile Oh Hello box. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite product from the box? What kind of things do you wanna see in future boxes, future themes, and also what books are you reading right now? I am seriously on a book kick. My neighborhood's really awesome and we are like exchanging books, like people will leave books on your porch. And we have a Facebook group to talk about like, oh, I, I would love to read this one, let's swap and everything. So that has been awesome because the library is closed, which is such a weird thing to say. So it's really hard to get books. So if you have any recommendations of books that I should read, I would love to hear them. Let me know, like I said, what you think of this box and all of the information and where to get it will be in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss more videos from me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.